Alan Turing was a man before his time. This brilliant English codebreaker helped turn the tide of World War II and was arguably one of the fathers of the entire field of computer science. He was a Renaissance man who studies and made contributions to the philosophical study of the nature of intelligence, to biology and to physics. His biography reveals that he was also the victim of anti-homosexual attitudes and laws, losing his security clearance and resorting to suicide two years later. In 1954, computer scientist and brilliant mathematic Alan Turing died after biting into an apple laced with Ciani, a real-life version of Snow White and the Poison Apple. It's long been assumed that it was suicide, perhaps because he was frustrated and overwhelmed by the chemical castration the British government forced upon him after he admitted to have a sexual relationship with a man, which was against the law at the time. Fast forward about two decades to a few guys making personal computers in a garage. They had a name for their product and were now in need of a logo. The men were aware of Turing's contributions to computers and coding, and decided to honor him and comment on his persecution by removing a single byte from the Apple graphic they had picked to represent their company. And that's how we got the iconic Apple logo on the back of all our phones, computers and iPods. The Turing test is a method for determining whether or not a computer is capable of thinking like a human. According to this kind of test, a computer is deemed to have artificial intelligence if it can mimic human responses under specific conditions. In Turing's test, if the human being conducting the test is unable to consistently determine whether an answer has been given by a computer or by another human being, then the computer is considered to have passed the test.